Okay, Rob, yeah, I'm on. Yeah.
Well, good morning, everybody, on this uh, Christmas morning. Um, just while we get the sound, <laughs> am I am I about right? Am I? Yeah. Thank you. Um, and welcome to our service for family communion this morning on Christmas Day here in uh, St James. Um, and I was just reflecting that it's my first time, I think, on Christmas Day because I've always been at work previously. A minute, but I'll shout for the moment, and I'm back on again. Well, there we are. So it's my first Christmas morning with you, <laughs> because of uh, work and then being away last Christmas. So it was uh, it was nice to be here with you all here in in um, in St James. I hope that this Christmas morning, just coming aside for just this this hour that we'll be able to just find this space together to worship God. We can have a little bit of fun. We have the reading of scripture. We listen to God's word. We share communion. But in all of this, it's just a, a time on Christmas Day for worship. And that roots us in our lives, I think, for all, all else that we do. So we're taking our service sheet. Please join in the responses. I bring you great news of great joy. A saviour has been born to you. Hallelujah. Unto us a child is born. A son is given. Hallelujah. Hear the words of St. Luke. When the angels had gone into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they hastened and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. He is Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. We worship and adore him. Hallelujah. And so we light our Advent wreath, including the Christmas Day candle. Is anybody like to come and to help light the candles for today? Do please come forward if you, anybody at all, young, old, me, anybody else coming? Anybody want to come? Right, oh, 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 Catherine. Yes, please, yes. So, hope, joy, peace, and love, and Jesus, where all of these things are found. There we go. Thank you. As our candle burns, the last marker of our Advent journey, we arrive at our journey's end. May we arrive with wonder and worship. Gods of journeys welcome us. We sing carol number 10, Heart the Herald, Angels Sing.
As we come to this moment of confession, we remind ourselves that we need God's grace and love and his forgiveness. And it is on his grace alone that we allow, rely. So we confess that amid all the joys and festivities of this season, we have sometimes forgotten what Christmas really means. And we have left the Lord Jesus out of our thinking and living. Father, forgive us. Help us to remember that you loved the world so much that you gave your only Son, who was born to be our Saviour. Lord, help us. We confess that we have allowed the most important event in history to become dulled by familiarity. Father, forgive us. Help us in this act of worship to recapture a sense of wonder and to discover again the amazing fact that the creator of the universe has come to us as a newborn baby. Lord, help us. We confess to a selfish enjoyment of Christmas, while often we do little to help the homeless families of your world. Father, forgive us. Fill our hearts with the love that cares, that understands and gives. Show us how we can best serve those in need, for the sake of him who was born in a stable. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so may Almighty God, who Forgive us our sins and renew us in our daily lives to follow you in Jesus' name. Amen. And the collect for today, eternal God, in the stillness of this night you sent your almighty word to pierce the world's darkness and the light of salvation. Give to the earth the peace that we long for, and fill our hearts with the joy of heaven through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I suggest that we stand for our reading, which is taken from Luke chapter 2. It's our gospel, the gospel of the coming of Jesus. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah. The Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, after our next carol, um, Lucy, the rector, is going to come and speak to us. Um, but we're going to sing, first of all, number, carol number 11, Joy to the World. <laughs>
working? Yep. Oh, good. We're live. Happy Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. So, who was the earliest awake this morning? We haven't got too many small children in here. So, um, anybody, anybody, eight o'clock, anybody? Oh, yeah, eight o'clock. Seven o'clock. Six. Oh, anybody before six? What time? What time if it was before six? Five. Ouch. Quarter to six. 25 year old up at quarter to six. I'm glad, you know, old habits don't die. So, um, anybody open any presents? Not yet? Yes. What have we got here? Can, do you want to bring him up? To show? No. Okay. But you were telling me that he smells of lavender and you put him in the microwave and he's a hot water bottle. Is that right? What's his name? You haven't got a name for it yet. Any, any other presents? Anybody brought anything to show us? No? No? Matthew, what did you get? A what? A Nerf gun. I'm very pleased you didn't bring that to show us this morning. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. It's a green dinosaur. Was that in? Oh, it's a green. Sorry. I need my glasses on. I got a train set. You got a train set? I haven't built it yet. It's got to go around the Christmas tree. Oh. Oh. Can we have that next year around here? Might have to, yeah. Good. Right. Well, Christmas is a lot about, Christmas is about a lot about giving gifts, isn't it? And um, I've got some words to help us think about, um, about that. Um, they've been in the vestry and they've got a bit curled up, but hopefully they're all right. So when we give somebody a gift, what are we doing? We're showing, aren't we? We're showing... Take my thing off. We're showing love, aren't we? Yeah? By giving a gift. But the amazing thing about the Christmas story, the amazing thing about the Christmas story is the Christmas story that the birth of Jesus was the greatest gift that we could ever give. It was the gift of love can you help me <laughs> sorry they, they they've just got curly it was the gift of love to show us what god was like so when jesus came as the baby at bethlehem he was the gift of love itself to show us what God was like. Because the amazing thing about Jesus is that he didn't stay a baby, didn't he? At Christmas, we tend to think of Jesus as a baby, but actually, Jesus didn't stay a baby. He grew up. He grew up as a man, a most incredible man, to show us all about God, to show us God's values, to show us God's priorities, to show us God's love. And that's the greatest gift that we can ever have is the gift of love. John writes this, he said, God is love and whoever lives in love lives in God and God lives in them. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just incredible? That that baby in the manger at Bethlehem was love itself. Love itself. But what do we need to do about that? Because it's a lovely thing to, to talk about, it's a lovely thing to, to realise, but actually John goes on, or he, before that little bit that he says that, those words, he says, 
Dear friends, let us love one another. For love comes from God, and everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. So in response to the love that was given the first Christmas, the greatest gift that we can give is to love one another. We can, that's the gift of love so that we can be people who show others just what God is like. Happy Christmas. Thank you, Lucy. So as we're reminded that we share in God's love, we share in the divine nature of God because he gives that to us. That's his gift to us. And it's something that we're going to sing about in our next carol, which is number four, reminds us that, us, that in the end, that final verse, uh, thou its sun which goes not down, there forever may we sing hallelujahs to our king. We enter in to the divine nature of God for eternity, which is something so wonderful that we can celebrate. Thank you, John. Let's stand together.
affirm our faith, we declare together our faith in God. As we say together, though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a slave, he was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God has raised him on high and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every voice proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Please sit for our prayers, which Agnes, Abby and Matthew are going to lead. Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. So, as it's with me, sometimes you can expect unexpected. And today, as it's Christmas, I thought, well, our tree looks a little bit bare. So I think we're going to add something to it by making our own old-fashioned paper chain with prayers. So if you have not got um, a three pieces of paper or a pen, please wave and Abby will come over with some spares. So the paper chains, as you know, they, they should be quite easy. They have got a sticky bit of um, double-sided tape to put them together. So as we move along with the prayers, I'm going to ask you to write something on either of the two white ones. It's your choice which one you want. So first of all, on one of the white ones, I'm going to ask you, a tricky one, I'm going to ask you to write your most precious gift you've ever received. Well, could it be, put your thinking caps on, any time, doesn't need to be this Christmas, your most precious gift. With life getting more expensive, week after week, there are many parents struggling to provide food for their children, and there is no even spare change left for the gifts. Lord, we pray for our leaders that they understand our struggles and govern the country in a way that helps everyone. We pray for local charities, food bank, Roots to Roots, Smile, Waste Not, Want Not, as they have been supporting local community, making their Christmas wishes come true. And we pray for us. We pray for ours, our precious gifts. We pray that you teach us to appreciate what we have, only ask for what we need, and share what we have with others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now, for your other white bit of um, paper, I'm going to ask you, how do you show your love? I want you to write on there the way you show love to others. Is it by gifting? How about supporting, helping, just being, just giving time? Christmas is magical time of the year. We put the trees inside our houses, we scoff on mince pies, rocking around to the Christmas music, and somehow all this makes us very generous. We send cards, we make an effort to call those we don't really speak to very often. It all started with a star, and Lord, you have showed us that, that the, light, the light that warms our hearts. So maybe it's the, it's the twinkling lights on a tree or something else.
but Lord, thank you for teaching us how to show your love and share it with others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And I hope you've managed to connect your two white chains together. If you haven't, please do so. Because now, now this comes a tricky one. Now it comes. Now we come to your red piece of paper, which you should have in, in your um, booklets as well. And this is the very tricky one, because I'm going to just ask you to hold this one really close to your heart. I don't want you to write anything on it. I'm just going to ask you to hold this one really tight. And I want you to think about those you love. Lord, we thank you for your love. Thank you for teaching us to love our friends and families. And as you hold this paper close to your heart, I want you to think about all your loved ones, those we might not see this Christmas, those we might not see again. And let's have a moment of silence to think about our loved ones. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now with your red piece of paper, let's connect our chains together with those that are around you. And as you do so, and you're creating a longer and longer chain, Abby and Matthew can come over with some spare pieces, and let's see if we can all connect in one a very long chain that will go on our Christmas tree. Are you going to hold it, Matthew, for us? And we're going to all go and connect. We've got some spare ones. You all, you all done, guys. Lovely. <laughs> right. Oh, yep. Why right. do you want to? Of course they do. These are my special Christmas trousers. <laughs> Lovely. Right, do you want to connect? Use that one. There we go. Do you want to hold that one for me? Anyone else? Yes, you Right, do you want to connect? Do you want to connect to the one behind you? There you go, I've got a spare one. That's okay, because you need to connect those. Anyone else? Any spare ones? Do you need a hand? That's okay. There we go. Right, if anyone's got any? Lovely, thank you. Right, let's connect this one here as well. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go, Matthew behind you. We've got some more coming up this way. Right, Matthew, come up here. Thank you. There we go. Yes, are you guys connecting to us? Abby? Anyone else? A bit more here. Any more? Thank 
you. That's okay, we'll go back this way. <laughs> I'm not climbing up there again. <laughs> it was scary, I tell you. Matthew, have you got any more? That's okay, well, let's get this end. Ooh. And let's get this end into, into this end over here. And this one can go back down here. Lovely. There we go. Thank you all very much and have a lovely Christmas. It's a great thought, isn't it, that our prayers are joined, but so our prayers are joined with people around the world, of people of faith and of Christian faith and our prayers are joined with those who may be meeting in secret today um, reading about the problems in India and many other places in the world where Christians can't openly worship at the moment but our prayers are joined with them and the secret prayers of our hearts also. Well the next part is a prayer for one another um, and for those amongst whom we sit and, and stand. Let's stand together for the peace. And we can share the peace appropriately um, just with those around us. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Just take a brief moment to share the peace. First, Noel, number five.
please take your service sheets and join in the words of responses during the communion prayer. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We give you thanks because in coming to dwell among us as man, God revealed the radiance, Christ revealed the radiance of God's glory and brought us out of darkness into your own marvellous light. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed and at supper with his friends, he took bread and he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, he, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. So as we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. And so with your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Please sit or kneel. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. We invite all those who love the Lord to come and share the communion. Um, if you prefer not to receive and just want a prayer of blessing, if you keep your hands to your side, then I know just to pray a short prayer of blessing. Please feel free to just receive the bread if that's what you would prefer. And... Um, that's all perfectly acceptable. And let's use this time as a time of reflection on God's love for us that he has shown to us in Jesus.
And so as we've received communion, we've remembered those whom we love. We remember those who today will be traveling, those who are away from home. And our, our prayers are also, under the former prison chaplain, prayers are usually for those in prison as well, and for Carol, who I think will probably be ministering down at uh, Port at the Vern today. So we pray for those in prison, for whatever reason, that God will bless them, heal them, and bring them his peace. We say together this prayer after communion on our service sheet. God our Father, whose word has come among us in the holy child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith give light to our lives and shine in our words and deeds through him who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Carol number 12, O come all ye faithful. Through 
his coming into the world, touched earth with heaven. Touch your lives today and be present amongst your celebrations and in the sharing of your love with those around you. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all and remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen. And I wish you all a very happy Christmas. Thank you, John.